Do you feel like your life has been trapped in a cycle? Not a bicycle, not a tricycle, not a monocycle. This is about the struggle in being trapped in a suspended cycle of life. Like those beautiful horses running around a farm track or a racetrack, where their eyes are covered, making their eyesight narrower and doesn't seem to see a different path of the road. Well, this episode is for you and for those who are trapped in a cycle. And I hope this episode gives a fresh perspective in life to help those who feel trapped to get out of a very sticky, toxic situation. for a couple of months and I didn't have any new episodes um, there were a lot of things to work on life got hectic but I'm back and today if you notice this is a different setup and it's also timely of what I wanted to share I kind of like had this recent experience and I didn't want to take too much time to work on it you know normally I would shoot outside but today you know what I just want to drop this in and the relevance of this is that for the past few weeks and plus the two years of us being you know under the pandemic and most of us are on lockdown and people were just you know trapped feeling trapped or they don't have that room to go out so much and this comes to mind and I just thought of sharing this thought process that I have kind of like worked on and this is about if you have been experiencing like a deja vu of things that you don't like or deja vu of what would I say cycle cycle of things that you don't like cycle of things that were events or treatment of people that you don't seem to like for a number of reasons, you know, perhaps it's your value, perhaps it's your, maybe they've been making fun of you, something like that. But the point here is, I hear a lot of people suffer from a cycle of things. And in this, although this happens to a lot of people, but at some point we have to snap out of it. Personally, for me, whenever I'm going through something that feels it's it's going through a cycle, and it comes to a point that you even dream about it. I mean, you don't literally dream about it, but you would have some repeating dreams of either you're chasing something or being chased. And in dreams, you know, whatever we, we are dreaming about, there's a high chance that that's your situation. It's it, it's not really something that predicts your future. Some may be um, in, in, in form of premonition, perhaps, but most of the time when we dream about something, it's, it's a high percentage. It's more of like you are going through something and that is what you're energy is feeling if you feel like you're you want to escape from something you would end up dreaming like as if you're in an indiana jones type of um kind of like scene and yes if you don't know what indiana jones is um yes you can google it um 
and with that perhaps my message to you know if if you are encountering this cycle of hurt this this cycle of toxic um, experience either at work family or even your close close friends or relationship it's just about time that you need to do something different right you need to shift that habit so that it would interrupt that pattern of those people or even events that people got used to doing it to you and most of the time even for me it is easier said than it's easier said than done um if i'm in like if i'm in my own shoes uh, there's a high chance that I might, not, I might not see this coming but it helps to give yourself space to reflect and look from different perspectives like, um, like self-check we have to get ourselves from being unstuck in that situation and it's not healthy it's not healthy to get used to it um, I can relate this to my school days when I was young I would always have fights with classmates because I thought the world was just as simple as black and white if the Bible because I, we were studying in a um, Bible Baptist school that time if the Bible says so right uh, and, and kind of like t taking it literally or in a dogmatic way and you just end up reprimanding my classmates or telling them to stop bullying someone or don't cheat like that I mean I was like just out in the open saying it out loud without being mindful and I end up having more um, enemies <laughs> out, out of just because I, I was doing what I thought was was practically right no it looks right but that's not the best way right but the point is I've been doing that for a lot of times that I had high grades but my conduct was suffering and I just realized also that I seem to be I seem I realized that I was kind of like being in a situation where in being used as an instrument by others because they knew I was going to react um, I don't have a word for it maybe some other people would use the word gaslight or things like that but then that started that that kind of like started for me to reflect on things it, it was like seeing myself away from my body I mean that, that kind of perspective and it, it started like during my younger years that I started seeing things how people would use people <laughs> to just to you know the reaction it, it feels like a billiard game uh, like a pool game you have a cue ball and you hit another ball just to you know go into the pocket and it, I just started seeing things like that um, year after year so I thought you know what I'm, I'm just gonna stay calm and quiet and do a different approach 
So the lesson there was the change really happened. The I no longer had fights. I, I had um, good grades, um, uh, good conduct. And even if I would see things that I want to dabble with, you know, but kind of like had to control myself. I know who I am, but I just know that I don't really have to do some things that would just cause friction. I also wanted to have that peace of mind. And that's how I kind of like realized how I uh, changed my student life in a more peaceful way and then eventually it, it's it, it's total opposite when I was in high school and going back uh, within this um, current situation of pandemic a lot of people were suffering from from depression from you know a kind of like um, fighting from each other because you're getting tired that they belong in one space for a long time right and and um, there was like a lot of people who would suffer from different things and perhaps this is what I want to share if you if you're in a situation that you feel like you're trapped and you you don't seem to find what to do you may not be able to identify everything right away it would take time but at least change change something in that routine that you've been doing if you have been reactive this way maybe you could start thinking well i'm i'm going to less i'm going to be less reactive I'm going to be, you know, more towards this than uh, doing that. So, if you're also less predictable from other people, um, you would also be less likely to kind of like um, used for a for a certain purpose. You know, some people like to trip other people. So. That is perhaps what I wanted to share. Breaking that cycle, I would always remember the song of Linkin Park, right? Breaking the habit, um, everything there was um, very relatable, especially, I mean, I'm, I wasn't really going through anything that's hard in my life before. I mean, you know, um, because that song really means um, a lot of things. But if you listen to the lyrics, it's all about breaking that cycle. It's breaking the habit and then you break it you just you know have something new and perhaps it's gonna be better so I, I guess that's what I wanted to share today um, I just want to keep it simple if you are having this cycle of miss not really misfortune but um, not really maltreatment <laughs> something I mean um, if you're going through bad days and of bad treatment from other people or it seems that the projects that you're doing seems to be always in in that kind of like not so good situation that perhaps you would have to reflect what you've been doing wrong and then tweak or change a little bit consistently okay it won't happen overnight but consistently change it a little bit change it uh, perhaps I can be more specific uh, in, in a future episodes but this one I want to keep it um, short or shorter that if you're going through something that seems to be on a cycle just shift some of the habits that you've been doing with some people shift change something tweak it a little bit tweak more tweak every day and then eventually the dynamics will change i used to teach art and 
just to set an example when I was teaching for um, high school and they thought that they're not going to do anything and I let them be um, like that for a couple of um, sessions and then on the third class the third time that uh, on the third week that the class um, started began I had a different approach and they didn't have a choice they had to participate I mean I had my ways to let the you know the ones who are kind of like popular and they feel like they can just um, they can just sit down and not do anything but I found a way how to make them comply but still have fun right? I had a different approach that they've never seen before with other teachers so that's an example and they changed uh, they some of them started um, showing signs of improvement how they draw you know um, the, the most mem memorable part there was I, I had a student who, who seemed to be you know you, you would think of oh, this student will not really participate but eventually the, the student had you know after probably after two months um, the student had a very very good um, outcome with the colored pencil work and yeah I would remember it was actually a squash and how it was um, drawn and colored was really 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 well beyond my expectations so yeah just shift and tweak your um, whatever you've been doing so that the people will have a different reaction or a different approach and then stay consistent stay consistent um, with it until you realize oh okay uh, I have to change this this is not working I have to adapt I have to change and you know that's how you actually do it so it's just a, a, a healthy reminder if you're feeling stuck change something within what you've been doing not just the rearrangement of table <laughs> but maybe for me it's just an example that this episode yes I have a change I have this kind of setup and um, I I just want to have this up close and personal kind of conversation in this episode so thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell doesn't sound right uh, yeah whatever that is <laughs> hit that bell button and see you next episode